Our story starts on a planet which is but a star to our eyes, a planet that no bird or beast among us walks upon. So begins the tale of Candy Dandyland. Tonight, I will tell you the story of the threat of the steel sphere. Oh, yes. Fifty years ago today, the town was just settling in for bed. I was awake looking through my leopard's telescope one night when I saw the most amazing thing. A giant steel sphere was shooting towards the planet. It would be here within a day's time. I quickly told my best servant to keep it secret while I figured out a solution. Please keep it a secret. The townspeople must not know or they will walk the streets like every moment is an emergency. Yes, my candy miss. Fetch the knights of the dessert table. Yes, my candy miss. Good. I'm sorry, my king, but the knights of the dessert table have the black licorice plague. Oh no, not the black <laughs> licorice plague. Then fetch the apprentice guards. Yes, my candy miss. What may I do for you, my candy miss? I explained to them I had prepared some gunpowder to shoot them into the night. Party at the end. 
Tonight there was a catastrophe that almost could have destroyed our world. A giant steel sphere was shooting towards Candy Dandy Land. It almost hit us. There was an alien on that sphere called a human. And he come, told us he comes in peace. We are safe. Let's just have, not have a party without him. Let's invite him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so you all will remember this wondrous 